Hello, this is Bosco and I'm back with more toy collectibles. And what you see in front of you is a flea market haul that I acquired uh, within the last few days. It's my first flea market visit of 2016. So I'm going to quickly show you what I got. I got a lot of awesome stuff. And uh, the only person I got something for is Carlos. So, and Carlos already knows uh, what he's getting. So what I'm going to show you here are, uh, let me get the dates down correctly here. I think uh, this is, I think these are, uh, most of these are from 1985. And uh, I'm not going to go through all the names, which I do have written down in Carlos. I'm going to put all the, I'm going to clean, I'm going to finish cleaning these up. And I'm going to put them in individual plastic bags and I'm going to mark them with all their names. But these are from Remco. These are, uh... WWF uh, or uh, I, I forget the actual uh, uh, line that Remco did these wrestlers from, but these are awesome wrestlers that I got for two dollars each. Uh, they were in kind of crappy condition because whoever had these uh, wrapped these up in um, like electric tape, and even some of their hands had like uh, this other weird uh, tape. And all I had to do is. Um, of course, take the tape off, but it was so worn and sticky and everything, and I just took uh, rubbing alcohol. So, uh, they're almost like probably 90% cleaned, and uh, they're going to be ready to go for you here, Carlos. So, I'll show you all these, and again, like I said, I'm not going to go through the names. Okay, so there's that one. And, you know, I really, and I'm not into wrestling, but I actually really love these wrestlers uh, from the 80s. And I really hate the wrestlers that they have out now. I know they're trying to do more articulation and everything, but I just think that these wrestlers from Remco and uh, just what other toy company made them in the 80s just look so much better. And I... I, I don't know. I, I just I really do hate the wrestlers that they have out now. I, I just think they just look horrible. But these are just awesome wrestlers. So there you go. And a few more here, Carlos. So there's that guy right there. And then here's an awesome one right here. And like I said, you can see here that uh, there's still uh, stuff I gotta clean off. And I actually went out and I bought um, uh, Mr. Clean uh, Magic Eraser. So all these are going to get cleaned up really nice for your Carlos. It's what I love doing. Rescuing toys and cleaning them. Now this guy, I looked this guy up. I know who he is, but I'm not too sure that this jacket goes to him. So I'm going to do just a little bit more homework and um, I might not give you the jacket. But if he goes with the jacket, then I'll give it to you with the jacket and the action figure. But uh, from what I've seen so far, he doesn't come with a jacket. So this jacket might go to another um, action figure. So I'm going to keep looking for that. Okay, so now, everything, that, and I'm going to stress this one time. So what you see here from now on is not up for trade. Nothing is up for trade. All this is going to go in my collection. I have many more videos to do of all these thrift stores that I've done within the last week because uh, I'm on a staycation right now and I've been going to Goodwill, Epic, Savers. I have stuff for other people, but what you see here right now, nothing is up for trade, please. Okay, so first off, uh, let me get the name because I want to uh, tell you the names of these. I have two mask figures that I got and this first one is... Uh, I think his name is Alex Sector, and holy, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And then the second one here is Hondo Mc. Is it Hondo McLean? 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 Okay. We can get a little bit of better focus of him there. So two very cool mask action figures that are going to go in my collection. Okay. All right, so now I got a big little lot here of Imaginex cavemen. I love these cavemen. So there's one right there. And here's another one. And another one. OK. 
Okay. This is probably like my favorite. I love the beard and I love the eye patch on that guy. Yeah, probably my favorite of the lot here. Okay. There's a guy right there. And I think I got these for like 50 cents each. Uh, I think maybe even one of them was 75 cents. But I think for the most part I got them for about 50 cents each. Okay, and then another Imagine X figure, which I've been looking for this guy. I don't have the play set that goes with this guy yet, but I've been looking for this guy. He's an awesome figure, and I'll show you the back too. And I love it how he's got a potion right there. And then he's got it's like some kind of wizard staff right there. But I love the look of this figure. So freaking cool. And he'll do, uh, uh, he'll, he'll go in a toy, uh, like a toy photo of mine that I'll do uh, here later on. Uh, okay, more Imagine X now. So I got this Imagine X guy. And I've got this very awesome tattoo guy got a little bit of a uh, light coming in a glare that's what I wanted to say but I love the tattoos on this guy doesn't have any on his back but he has them on the side arms there so very cool uh, more Imagine X I've got this guy okay and I've got a knight which I've been looking, I don't have any of these knights. Okay. And another Imagine X guy. Need a little bit better photo. There you go. I'm going to show you his face there. Very kind of cool looking guy there. And another Imagine X, Robin. Which I don't have this Robin yet. Now I love this guy because I love. His mask, I love it. It's the uh, like a ram horns or whatever. I love just that whole outfit that he has on. Okay, and another Imagine X. Okay, and then I got two, which I don't have any of these guys yet. And I actually love these Imagine X uh, knights here. And I love his shield here. That is an awesome shield. Okay. I actually love the, mu the mustache on that guy. And then another shield that I love on this. Okay. And yes, I am watching He-Man in the background. Uh, I'm on my staycation and I've been watching cartoons. So... Not just cartoons, I've been watching like uh, stuff that I love, like Seinfeld in the office, and but i also been watching cartoons, so that's what I love doing, so, but very cool. Okay, so that's all of my Imagine X figures. Now I got one army guy, which I loved this pose on this army guy. Okay. Now I have no idea what line this goes to because there's no date there's no um i don't even think it says made in like china or hong kong or you know nothing so there's no date on it but it's a very cool uh mini dragon so very cool and i've got a army men type of knight which i really love that Okay, so very cool, and I'll show you his shield here. I love that shield. And I'll show you the back too, because he's got some color to him. Not just gray, he's got the black with him. Okay, and I think this is, uh, and I should have showed this earlier, uh, I think this is part of the Imagine X line, because you put them, uh, where's the Imagine X guy? I think you're supposed to put the monster on top of his head. There you go. Okay. I got one Playmobil. This is, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think he's supposed to come like with a secret agent briefcase or something. But this is, uh, 2005. I just love that Playmobil guy. 
This is a dinosaur that I really like here. I'm trying to get it so it's folk. There you go. So you can get a good look at that dinosaur. Very cool. Okay, and I got another one of these. I have a few of these army men that have got these dots on them. Okay, and it says on these, it says made in China. And there's like a code number or something. There you go. 593-D. Okay. Now this, I wrote this down. Um... This is a Micro Machines Z-Bot. It's in the Battlezoids uh, line. And his name is Monocon. And I do have a few of these Z-Bots, so that's going to go in my Z-Bots collection. So, very cool. I've got a, from 1981, Play School. I've got an all-metal Ernie Racer. So that was very cool. Love that. And I've got a very large um, PVC California Raisin playing the piano. And that's going to, I have a nice collection of California Raisins. So that's going to go in my collection with that. And this thing goes on eBay for like 15 bucks. Okay, next up, this was like 50 cents. And this is going to go with my Kermit that I acquired uh, about a, a month or so ago. That's got that articulation and the, um, that one articulation point. He's still kind of dirty, which needs to be cleaned up. And he does have some paint loss, but for 50 cents, I wasn't going to pass it up. Okay, I've got a, which I'm going to have to make a lot of room here. I've got this awesome Tootsie toy, which, uh... I think I paid five bucks for this, but it's totally worth it because it goes for like 20 bucks online. But it's in pretty good condition. It's got the uh, uh, cement mixer part, so which is very cool. And it's nice little sized uh, Tootsie toy. So that's gonna go in my Tootsie toy collection. I did get a few Hot Wheels and uh, Matchboxes. I got this, uh, let's see what year it is, 2003, and it's called a, swo a Swoopy Doo, but I love the graphic on the side that says Space Patrol, and I guess I'm going to have to, there we go, or Space Pirate, I'm sorry, what did I say Space Patrol for? Space Pirate. But I just love the look of that car. And then this one is a Hot Wheel from 1977, uh, made in Malaysia, but there's no name of the car. But still very cool. Let's see. I got a lot of light coming in right now. There we go. So, love that little Hot Wheel car. Finally got a regular DeLorean, Back to the Future DeLorean. Now I have this one in the hover mode one. Still looking for one in the package, but I will take this loose one because it was only, I think, 50 cents, I think. Okay, and this is a, it's a Hot Wheel from, looks like 1981, made in Malaysia again, but an awesome Jeep. I love that Eagle graphic there on the uh, hood of the car, and as you can see, black walls. Very cool. Okay, now this one is a 1997 Hot Wheel, and I'm going to show you the top view. If I can, if this can come out okay, as you can see, it's got this uh, anime-ish type of robot. I just love the graphic on the top of that car, and it's kind of got some kind of space. Graphic on the side a little bit. And like right there. It's a little bit different because it says Hot Wheels on that side and it doesn't say Hot Wheels on that side. But so uh, it needs to be cleaned up just a tad, it looks like. But I just love the graphic on that car. 
And then one of my favorite ones that I picked up from the flea market is this Matchbox Super Fast Refuge, uh, refuse uh, truck, garbage truck from 1979. And it says, there's a couple different versions of this because it says a couple different things on the side depending on which version that you have. This one says State City. And you can see right there it says Collectomatic there on the f top front. And it does have a moving part so you move this and the dumper moves up and down to let the garbage out. And there you can see it says caution with the license plate number. So very cool. Okay, now let me get to the action figures. Uh, Volcanic uh, helped me uh, recognize this action figure. It's a, um, uh, is it the Goliath one? I think this is the Goliath action figure. The, these are like biblical action figures. Had a very hard time trying to find out what this was, and so thank you very much for recognizing uh, this toy there, Volcanic. I do appreciate that. Next up, and all these action figures I'm going to show you, I got for $2 each. And some of you will recognize who this guy is. Uh, this is Ruby Spears from the Karate Commandos from 1986. So, very cool. I was really happy to get this guy because I do collect Karate Commandos. Okay. And next up, for $2, I got Stratos. And he is a naked Stratos. He doesn't have his uh, chest harness or his wings on the side, but I will be completing him, getting his parts off eBay. Okay, so I was really happy to have him. And the thing that uh, I'll, I'll just say something here really quick. When I was getting these uh, wrestling figures for Carlos and these action figures that I'm showing you now, they had all these action figures in this big deep uh, Tupperware bin. And I was going through them and I, I said how much. And the first offer I was given was uh, $3 each. And then when I finally brought uh, all these figures up to for them to count them and everything, uh, I guess he had a partner or whatever and his partner said four for ten. So uh, it was uh, two fifty each actually. I'm sorry. I said two dollars. I meant two fifty. Um, but then he saw that I had Stratos here in my in my because uh, I was kind of uh, trying to hold all these action figures in my hands. And he says, that's a He-Man figure. I'm like, yeah. I, I said, I know. I said it was in the bin. You know, because like, you know, obviously they didn't know what they had in that bin yet, or they didn't go through the bin or whatever. But I'm like, well, you know, because they have they this uh, person that I went to has everything in glass display cases, and they they have everything specifically marked. They know exactly what everything is. So when they made that comment, I'm like, yeah, you're not getting this back. You know, you you said. You know, what's ever in the bin, I can have, so. But I'm just happy to have them. Okay, so, believe it or not, and maybe uh, Count can recognize who this exactly is. And if you don't Count, or even uh, Twisted, believe it or not, this is a He-Man figure, an official He-Man figure. This is Blades. He is from the He-Man movie line and he didn't come with his uh katana swords or whatever he comes with but this is an awesome he-man figure and um i don't know i just love this guy this is i just love the look at this the look of him and he's dated 1986 and uh it says made in mexico but very cool figure and uh, he almost looked like he, he could pass for a Mad Max uh, action figure. He just has that post-apocalyptic uh, Mad Max type of um, just look to him. He, he just, he's an awesome looking figure. Now the last action figure I'm going to show you, and I'm running out of time here and i got to get through everything else here. This is from, because it says United Artist, which means it's a Rocky figure. Uh, 1983, uh, I think. 
But this is a ver this is a uh, Mr. T figure from the uh, Rocky movie. And he's in really bad shape. And I, even though he's in really bad shape, I still want to keep him. I want to finish cleaning him up and put him in a plastic bag. But I'm going to pull his shorts down to show you that he's cracked in the ass right there. And he's got just... Um, uh, I thought something else was wrong with him. But he's got a... He just needs to be taken care of here and cleaned up. So I am going to keep them and then clean them up and put them in a plastic bag and then just store them away. I, I don't want to mess with them. I don't want to destroy them any more than he already is. Okay, so this is an Imagine X part. It's a cage that goes to one of their jungle safari uh, vehicles. So I'm actually happy to get this because I just uh, I just grabbed this just in case. I'm like, L let me just get this because I know it's Imagine X. I just didn't know exactly what it was, and then I looked it up when I got home. So when I find the jungle safari vehicle, like at a Goodwill or something, knowing that if I do find one at, at a thrift store, it's going to be incomplete without that cage. So. Now, this thing I was really kind of happy to get, even though it's not Imagine X, because even though it looks Imagine X-ish type of thing, but it is a Madagascar penguins um, plane, and it does talk when you move the propellers, or I mean uh, the lever here. Welcome aboard the monkey-powered superplane. Your ride's going to be bananas. <laughs> Klotsky, analysis. Judging by our altitude, Skipper, we seem to be flying. Thank you for choosing Air Penguin. Okay, so it talks, it makes sound effects, and I just love the look of this plane. Because uh, I love that, that fighter jet uh, shark uh, thing to it. It's just an awesome looking toy, so I was just really happy to get that. And two more things really quick. I did get one comic for myself. This is X-Force number one. Okay, so I got that. And then the big thing that, or actually two more things, I'm sorry. I just grabbed this just for the hell of it. I paid three bucks. I'm like, because I looked on his ass, because that's where the markings are. And it does say Mattel 1968 Malaysia. I'm assuming this would be a Ken, but he's got army fatigues. I, I can't pinpoint exactly what doll this is or what line this is from or if it's a Ken or not. So I'm going to have to go on the Vintage uh, Facebook page and post it and see if people know. But I am keeping this, so I'm sorry, Count. I know your wife would probably like this, but uh, I do want to keep this. And then the big thing that you see behind you is the Imaginex Gorilla Mountain Playset. And it doesn't have the accessories, but it is complete as far as the playset. And it does light up. It makes noise. Uh, it, uh, the waterfall that, that is uh, on the left side there of the, gorilla, of the uh, gorilla, it makes like a babbling brook kind of noise. It lights up, and the lights kind of uh, trickle down like it's water trickling down. And then the gorilla's eyes light up bright red, and it makes noise. And uh, his mouth actually opens up and shoots out projectiles. So it's an awesome toy. I paid five bucks for that. I was very happy to get that. I'll gladly pay five bucks uh, at a flea market. So like on eBay, I would have to pay for sh nonsense shipping and everything. So for five bucks, I will gladly just buy that up. So that is everything from my flea market haul. Uh, it was actually a very... Uh, it's something that made my staycation because I was supposed to be in San Fran and I had to cancel it So I made it a staycation and this flea market haul just really made my day uh, It was just it meant a lot to me and uh, I can't wait to go back to the flea market to get more toys So please comment below of uh, what you thought of my toy haul and Also like it if you like the video and uh, for new people watching this Please subscribe if you do like uh, my toy finds. I'm a toy rescuer I love rescuing toys cleaning up toys and collecting them 
And uh, description below, I have my toy Flickr page, which is uh, a bunch of toy photography that I love doing. And also in the description is my uh, friends in the Collector's Talk Trading Circle. Please check them out. They love collecting toys. They love rescuing toys. And uh, just the same as me, just uh, appreciating uh, what we either once had or uh, just, you know, uh, just just collecting, you know, it's something that we might not even have had and wanted. So, please um, just like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Bosco saying goodbye and just keep on collecting.